Right. In the meantime, let us get you caught up on the first half of what has to be the best sports weekend so far this fall. And it's not the two best teams in the country this year. Doesn't have to be. It's still Ohio State and Michigan, and the Bucks had to go without linebacker Bobby Carpenter, who got dinged up the first time he stepped on the field and spent the rest of the game on crutches. But nothing stopped Troy Smith. First drive, he's in. Josh Houston missed the kick, and Ohio State went up by six. It was 12-7 Buckeyes at the half, 12-10 late third. That's when freshman Kevin Grady got in the end zone to put Michigan on top, 18-12. And they added three more to make it 21-12 with seven minutes to go. And then the comeback. Smith to Santonio Holmes from 26 yards makes it 21-19 with about six minutes to go. Seven plays later, Ohio State has the ball back with four minutes left at their own 12. No problem. Smith to Ted Ginn for a first. Then Smith again to Holmes for one more. Then the play of the day with 45 seconds to go, he makes an unbelievable move to shake the rush, then hits Anthony Gonzalez for 27 yards to the Michigan four. And two plays later, Antonio Pittman goes in to make it 25-21. And that, friends, is your ball game. Smith was 27 of 37 for 300 yards and a touchdown on the last two drives. He was a very clutch 9 of 12 for 130 yards. And Troy Smith beats Michigan again, 25-21. Ohio State gets at least a share of the Big Ten title. Unbelievable. Nothing better. There's nothing better. This is uh, four years I've been here. Best thing in the world. Oh, it's, it's a great feeling because last time we left here with a bad feeling, taste in our mouth. And I think, uh, you know, coming out here and doing this in their place makes it even that much better. I knew if, if we could put it all together, you know, we can get it rolling. It looked shaky at points, you know, this game, but we, we got it together on the final drive and punched it in. Well, you know, this one was a dog fight up here in Michigan and playing hard and just winning for our sins. I mean, that, that's, that's all we wanted to do. I think I've progressed a lot just within uh, knowing and understanding that every play does not have to be made with your feet. I mean, that's Troy Smith right there. That's the kind of guy he is. Um, you know, I hate to put all kinds of pressure on him, but that's what we expect out of him every game. And that's for the last few weeks, that's what we've got. So now the Bucks have to wait and see what happens 65 miles away in East Lansing. A Penn State win against Michigan State gives Joe Paterno an automatic BCS bid. And he's got it. Michael Robinson rushed for 82 yards and this touchdown and Penn State wins its first share of a Big Ten title since the Kajana Carter days. They share it with Ohio State, but Joe Paterno will coach in his first BCS Bowl, the final Penn State 31, Michigan State 22. Two games to go and Mark D'Antonio's team can still make this a good season. Not a conference title, not a 10 win season, just a bowl win this week against South Florida and next week at Rutgers and that's a nice season for a team loaded down with freshmen this year and a first year quarterback. But that's easier said than done because South Florida is a pretty solid football team. Cats fell behind 10 nothing before they finally cracked the scoreboard. Dustin Grutza steps up to avoid the rush dumps it off to Dominic Goodman and a cold rain grab coast 25 yards to the end zone to pull UC to within three at 10 7 and that score stuck until the third quarter when Grutza just uncorks a stinker, and it's picked off by Dewan Brown. He takes it back 26 yards for the touchdown. The Bulls are on top by 10 again at 17-7. The turnover bug bit the Cats again on the next series. Groots this time hit from behind, coughs up the ball. South Florida covers it, and that turnover led to this on the reverse. And watch it closely because the Bulls' Amari Jackson fumbles in the backfield. Looks like a busted play, but he picks it back up. Looks like he's going out of bounds, but he doesn't. Breaks the tackle, cuts back, outruns the defense for the score, and it was that kind of day for UC. The Bearcats' bowl chances go down the drain in Tampa. Instead, the Bulls get their all-important sixth win. They take the Cats 31-16. We've got a lot of guys in there that are hurting right now just because of, uh, you know, it's, it's emotional. It's very emotional. We uh, had a chance to go to the bowl game for winning out the last two, and I think our guys came down here with some conviction. But um, you know, we got to load up and start over on Monday.